Steve Spurrier brought a little bit of Williams Bryce Stadium to Tampa with Sandstorm as the Gamecocks had their final practice before the Outback Bowl. It's safe to say that the mood was light and fun at Jefferson High School. You know, a couple of days before we played Clemson, and uh, then on a Friday night when we was at the hotel, Coach Spurrier said, you know, for some reason, y'all seem real loose. I think it's the personality of this team. I think they know what we got to do. I think they understand what we're doing uh, scheme-wise and, and they're confident in their ability. So I think it's, it is our, our confidence about the guys. Lake City's Sean Carson has not played since the Georgia game in 2011. The running back had wrist surgery this summer and is wearing some protection. Coach Spurrier says he'll be in the mix among three Gamecocks in the backfield. Yeah, Kenny should be fine. Mike Davis and Sean Carson are, are ready to play some also. Uh, so we got three ready to go. One matchup to keep a close eye on Tuesday, Gamecocks All-American defensive end Davion Clowney going up against Michigan's Taylor Lewin, an All-American and likely first-round NFL draft pick on the offensive line. Clowney's going to get an All-American all tackle. Uh, giving up, I guess, they say one sack all season is right here. But, you know, uh, I think it's a challenge for Jadavion, and, you know, I fully expect him to come to the game and, and play well. I was able to see Michigan in person this year when I went to go see Everett Golson play for the Notre Dame Fighting Irish. In that game, Manti Teo became a Heisman Trophy finalist with a dominating performance disrupting Denard Robinson. The Gamecocks have the same kind of talent, maybe even better talent than the Notre Dame defense. And if they can replicate that kind of performance, there'll be a lot of happy Gamecock fans here at Raymond James Stadium come Tuesday. At the Outback Bowl in Tampa, I'm Rich Grampanis, News Channel 15 Sports.